What's going on, my friends and fellow Hopheads? Welcome back to another review here on Drewski's Brewskies. It's been quite some time coming, uh, and I do apologize. Uh, but as I said in my last video, just recently started a new job. Uh, took a little bit of time to get used to the new schedule and things like that. Um, and also, I just got lazy and wanted to do other things on the weekend. Tisk, tisk. But rest assured, I'm going to try to at least uh, get you guys a video uh, out at least, you know, here and there once once a week once every two weeks something like that i make no definite promises but in the meantime let's just get straight into the beer that we have today um so this is something that we've actually never done on the channel before um beer no i'm just kidding <laughs> so we've never done a triple ipa on the channel uh, i've done double ipas and of course regular ipas but never a triple so Without further ado, I say we get on to it because I'm pretty excited about it. As am I. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, as I said, let's just get straight on into it because I'm pretty excited and like I said, this review has been some time coming here. So. Real quick, a little information off the can. This can was brought to us from Cam, by the way. This is Cam, I know you've seen him on the channel before. Um, so that's pretty much why I didn't do introductions. Um, but yeah, so this comes to us um, via Cam, via Tavor, from Celestial Beer Works. Uh, and they are in Dallas, Texas. Nice Texas brew. Um, this one is called Technical Skillset. It is a 10% alcohol Oof. by volume, so a pretty hefty one. Uh, but being a triple IP, I'm not too surprised. Mm -hmm. um, but even so, yeah, the, this will sneak up on you, especially if it's uh, as smooth as I'm hoping it is. Yep. Uh, so yeah, once again, uh, brewed and packaged in Dallas, Texas by Celestial Beer, Beer Works. Um, and this is a, once again, triple IPA with Strata and Galaxy Hops and Strata Hop Hash. Now, I'm not too sure on what Hop Hash actually is. Yeah, I've never had that one before. Um, but uh, it sounds interesting. And since it's something that we've never had, uh, makes it even more interesting that it's in this beer to go ahead and give it a try. And shout out to them. They literally have a follow us to stay up to date, like on Cosmic Events. Like, they have their own social media stuff on the can, too. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, but yeah, once again, I will, of course, give you a close-up of the can and all that good stuff. Um, but it's kind of cool. You got little calculators on it, and that's where they show all their information. So it's the technical aspect of the technical skill set. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and crack her open and see what the uh, aromas are and the the, the uh, haziness and stuff. Um, two more decent amount in there. Okay. Go a little ahead too. I like the color on it too. Oh yeah. Nice and hazy. So leave a little bit in the can there, but mm. um, so smell wise, pretty typical. Yeah, it smells like a typical IPA. Uh, pretty floral, uh, I would say, but mm -hmm. you do get a nice. It might be the sh the Strata hash, even though we don't exactly 100% know what that is. But yeah, we like I said, we're not too sure what that is, but um, yeah, pretty typical IPA smell. I wouldn't have pit. Uh, Picked it as a tr triple IPA though. I expected a lot more. Like, yeah, it smells like a typical double IPA. Um, yeah, I expected a lot more like uh, hoppiness from it, smell wise. Um, now, uh, pulling that to light, I mean, it's nothing super special. Um, I may actually just not even include uh, holding it up to the light in the videos anymore because uh, really there's not that much variation. I mean, maybe if it's something super special, I'll hold yeah. it up, but. Um, for the most part, I don't think I'm going to bother doing that yeah, anymore. I'll do it at least a little bit on the hazy side. I can't really see through it. Um, that's not what that's for. That's for thumbnails. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty standard. It's got a nice, decent haziness to it. Um, Which I love. Yeah, so, but yeah, so um, with all that in mind, I say that we do the favorite pot of the tasting and then think seeing what we think with our minds and taste buds so let us do that let us do it 
Alrighty, without further ado, let us do it. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Actually, you know what? That will sneak up on you. It will, because honestly, as it the- It tastes so smooth. Yeah, as in the, the smell, it doesn't strike me as a triple IPA. And neither does the taste. Um, I will say, because I've had experience with triple IPAs, one in particular that we all know, which I will not put on blast, uh, me, you, Norman, and yeah, <laughs> uh, we all know what it is. I'm not going to put them on blast because I don't want uh, any hate because there might be some people that love that beer, but uh, I've had experience with triple IPAs in the past that have just been so like overly hoppy, bitter, and I, I like a decent amount of hop and decent amount of bitterness, but um, I don't want it to where it's like just hard to drink. It can't easily cross that line of this is too much because that's part of the reason why I ordered this one because I, I'm an IPA lover and for me, most triple IPAs I've had, emphasis on most, like not all of them are that like that, but most triple IPAs I've had, if you get the hops right, usually you don't taste, it doesn't taste how hoppy as it should be. Like, yes, the alcohol percentage might be up there. Yes, it may have a fair amount of hops, but it usually doesn't taste hoppy. It doesn't taste boozy. It tastes very smooth for what it is. And in my opinion, shout out to me. I had my fingers crossed when I ordered this, but it seems like I might have chose like pretty well because this doesn't taste overly boozy. It doesn't taste very hoppy. It's very smooth. No, yeah, I 100% agree. Um, and there's almost like a... There's almost something mixed in there, which I'm gonna guess is like that hop hash thing. Yeah. Um, cause a little herby like yeah, aspect. Kind yeah. of herbal, kind of a little bit. I and once again, we have no idea what exactly that is. Um, if I do find out, I'll maybe throw a description of what it is up on the video or something. But um, yeah, I, honestly, I, I really do quite enjoy that. Um, like I said, surprisingly easy to drink and uh, at a 10%, man, you. Even on like a like a nice warm day sitting on a patio, you could easily mm -hmm. enjoy this and drink it a little too fast. And uh, well, if you drink too many of those, your day is gonna get shorter and shorter. <laughs> yes, it certainly will. Uh, there's no doubt about that at all. Um, but yeah, honestly, I I would say more, but really, there's not too much more to say. I mean, it's just a really surprisingly smooth, easy drinking triple IPA that. Um, I don't know, and even like, you know, because this is chilled, I would say, obviously, because you had it in your bag and stuff, but mm -hmm. I would say... I kept it in an insulated bag, so it's, it's still actually pretty cold for how long it's, it's no, been out. No, yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, honestly, there's not really too much more to say. Um, I mean, uh, if you were to think just off the top of your head, do you think you have a rating in mind at all? I do. Okay, well... Uh, it, time has come pretty quickly, but I think that we are ready to move on to uh, the final portion of the rating. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. Alrighty, everyone. So once again, that time has come to close out another review. Uh, yeah, it was a fairly quick one, but you know, when... Uh, I is that good, it kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> I say, it pretty much spoke for itself. Um, so... Uh, with that in mind, I can go ahead and what is your rating out of 10 for this? Uh... All right. Out of 10, and I feel like this might surprise you a little bit. Out of 10, I, I will give this one a 9.2 because, and this might be my bias for IPAs talking, but this is fairly smooth. This would be something that kind of, as you said, it's a nice, like, warm, like, summer day. I would drink this. Obviously, I wouldn't have too many of these but because, you know, 10%, that's going to catch up with you but the taste is very smooth this is something that hey it's a nice easy day let me just enjoy my beer you know just for the flavor like let's say you're not trying to drink it and go crazy get a little active but this is something that I would enjoy just for the flavor aspect and honestly it's, it's just good it tastes good there's no no really like overcomplicated answer for that for me yeah I feel that um, okay so um, my rating, um, honestly, I'm going to be in the same ballpark. Um, I think I'll give it a solid nine, honestly. Um, 
I think maybe the only other thing, it's hard because like, I was, I would say that I was expecting more, but in the same sense, if, okay, so I was expecting more, but okay. if I would have had that extra bit of more, Maybe I feel like maybe something more in the hops or maybe like in the flavor profile. Well, yeah, I was going to say I expected more because it was a triple IPA. But yeah. if it would have had that more factor, yeah. the rating probably would have been lower because I, like I said, I'm not a big, super hoppy, mm. really bitter kind of person. So I was expecting more, but I'm glad that I my expectations weren't met, if that makes sense. So, yeah, because the thing I, I like, I feel like we we both like about this because I did a little mini research before uh, we started the review and it actually has like a fair amount of like stone fruit like in it like things like pineapple like uh, I, I know it has other stuff in there too I'm just not 100% sure right at the top of my head but it has other fruits and I feel like the fruit aspect is what I'm getting more and like you balance that out with the hops that are included it makes for a smooth overall taste which Kind of like you said, if they had added maybe more hops to it, it might overpower that delicate balance that they tried to achieve with this. Right. Because with this, this is a good balance that they have there. If you were to put even a different type of hop in it, it would change the flavor overall and this rating wouldn't be where it's at. It would probably be lower. But for a triple IPA, this is something that I would definitely drink again. No question. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, and like you said, I mean, obviously you can only you only need one of them. You don't need, if you get like a four pack of this, don't think about drinking more than one yeah, in one don't, night. Yeah, don't drink too many at a time. <laughs> um, but yeah, honestly, if you um, are into the IPAs or you know, even if you only say, oh, I don't really like double or triples and you have the chance to try this, I would say give it a shot because um, I am stunned, honestly, like that it doesn't have extra poppy like punch you in the face type things this will change your perspective on what you perceive to an ipa to be because most people think ipas and they think automatic bitterness this is by no means like overly bitter you might get a little bit of bitterness but in my opinion as someone who drinks ipas like to that extent you have the overly bitter and you have the point where hey i need something else to over to offset the strong flavor that's there and for this I get the aspects that they were trying to achieve as well, as well as the little bit of bitterness that makes it an overall like balanced flavor profile, which this is, that's the thing that's gonna keep me coming back for more and more of this. Flavorful beer, very balanced, not overly bitter. I will always, I will come back to this. Yeah, I definitely think I pretty much, I'm pretty much right on the same page there. So <clears throat> um, yeah, very well done, uh, Celestial Beer Works. Uh, you have succeeded in your attempts. Um, shout out to Dallas, Texas. Yeah, shout out to Texas. Um, but yeah, with all those thoughts in mind, hope you guys enjoyed this review again. Um, uh, as I said earlier in the video, uh, videos may be kind of more spaced out than they were coming for a while. I mean, let's face it, even then they weren't really coming out that frequently. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to try to do them when I can. Um, obviously with uh, getting warmer outside and things like that. Um, I don't know what that has to do with anything, but for what is worth, I'm gonna keep him motivated to do these things because I, I, I try to keep him motivated without being all up in his face. Like I try to find that good balance, but you know, at the end of the day, it's up to him, the content creator, to decide when he wants to put these out. And here's the reality: I know you guys enjoy watching us be goofy on camera and enjoy these beers. I know you do. It's okay. Be honest with yourself. We know you enjoy it, so we're gonna we're gonna keep this going at a fairly yeah. regular pace. We'll uh, we'll definitely work on getting some more content out in the near future. Um, but uh, once again, if you are not subscribed yet, do hit the subscribe button. Uh, click on the bell so you receive a mm -hmm. notification whenever I uh, try a new beer or uh, maybe soon some more challenges or something coming up. Um, but yeah, so uh, leave a comment and let us know what you're drinking on tonight. Um, and with that in mind, we'll close you out and say cheers. Cheers. And we'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.